Five Minute Star Wars Stories by Disney and Lucas Films Press. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars Attack of the Clones, Yoda and the Count. Jedi Master Yoda was one of the leaders of the Jedi Order. He was wise and knew many things. Above all, Yoda believed in the Force. But now Yoda sensed a great disturbance in the Force. Count Dooku, Yoda's old apprentice, was trying to raise an army against Yoda and the other Jedi Knights. The Jedi search for Dooku led them to the planet Genesis. A great battle broke out, and Dooku tried to escape. But Yoda's companions, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, raced after them. Yoda sensed the presence of his powerful old apprentice and followed the two young Jedis to a small hangar bay far away from the battle. When Yoda entered the hangar, he saw Obi-Wan and Anakin hurt and on the ground. Standing over them was the evil Count Dooku. Count Dooku glared at the Jedi. Master Yoda, he said. Count Dooku, Yoda said. He knew that he had to stop Dooku to protect his two friends. He also knew that there was still a chance to stop the battle on Genesis before it became a war. You have interfered with our affairs for the last time, Dooku said, as he used the force to rip objects off the walls, then throw them straight at Yoda. But Yoda knew Dooku's tricks and was prepared. He used the force to swat Dooku's missiles aside. Frustrated, Dooku tried to bring the ceiling down on the small Jedi Master. But Yoda was too strong for him. He pushed the rocks away. Powerful you have become, Dooku, Master Yoda told the Count. I have become more powerful than any Jedi, even you, Dooku replied. With that, the Count raised his hand and shot Force Lightning at his old Jedi Master. But Yoda refused to be afraid. He used the Force to bend the Lightning up and away from him. Count Dooku could only watch in astonishment. He tried again, but this time Yoda closed his fist around the Lightning until it disappeared. Much to learn you still have, Yoda told Count Dooku. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force, but by our skills with a lightsaber, the Count said as he raised his red lightsaber. Yoda called his own to his hand. Its green blade glowed as he lifted it to fight Count Dooku. Yoda and Count Dooku leapt across the room at each other. Their lightsabers cut through the air. Yoda circled around the Count, his blade flying always one step ahead of Dooku. The two blades crackled against each other, and Yoda forced Count Dooku back. The Count was amazed as Yoda jumped high across the hangar to land smoothly back down in front of him. Dooku realized he wasn't powerful enough to beat Yoda. Fought well you have, my old pad one, Yoda told the Count. This is just the beginning, Dooku said, and then he smiled, because he had discovered a way to win the fight. Count Dooku raised his hand, and a huge tower began to crash down towards the defenseless Obi-Wan and Anakin. Count Dooku gave Yoda the choice between capturing him and saving the lives of his fellow Jedi. For Yoda, there was no choice. He dropped his lightsaber and raised both his hands to stop the column from falling on his friends. He could sense Count Dooku escaping to his ship. There was now no chance for peace, but Yoda trusted in the Force. Count Dooku thought that the dark side was a shortcut to victory, but Yoda knew that the Count's victory would not last long. The Force was more powerful than Dooku could even imagine, and with it, Yoda and his friends would one day defeat the Dark Side.